Good morning and welcome to the Monday morning black and white messages. This is your pastor, Matthews George. You know, Paul tells the church in Rome, he says, and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who loved him, who have been called according to his purpose. You know, this passage is one of the most beloved passages in the Bible and many would vouch for the fact how this verse carried them through sickness, through persecution, through loss of loved ones, through divorce and so on and so forth. Yet there are many who have a problem with this verse, who secretly doubt it and consider this as some cruel joke. They say, what do you mean good? Sickness is not good. Murder is not good. Divorce is not good. Suicide is not good. The death of a child is certainly not good. Look at this passage. It says all things God works. Not you. God is at work. Not fate, not luck, not chance, not mother nature. But God is at work. God who created and sustained everything. He is there at the beginning and He is there at the end. And He is there in the middle as you struggle. Now, that doesn't mean that a tragedy is not a tragedy. And the Bible does not advocate as to be stoic as we go through pain. This verse means we need to understand through faith that God is at work in our lives even though terrible circumstances happen. And what happens is not misfortune or karma or kismet, but God is actively involved in us in the middle of our suffering. Paul says, all things work together. Now, many things do not make sense when seen in isolation, but all things in fact work together like a wonderful piece of tapestry to produce good. Even in the darkest moments of our life, there is a divine synergy that is producing abundant life and the final outcome of good could not happen any other way. I remember the story of a father whose son was suddenly killed in an accident. He came to his pastor with anger and pain and said, where was this loving God when my son fought for his life in the hospital and finally died? The pastor thought for a moment and replied, the same place he was when his son Jesus died on the cross. Now, that is the final piece of the puzzle. God knows what pain feels like. God has been there too. Now, I know that this does not answer every question, but I know for sure this answers a very important question. Does God really care? Yes, God cares and He knows what pain feels like. He knows the suffering we are going through. Do we love Him? Do we know Him? God bless you.